Hi, everybody. It seems that a lot of people are posting on the zombie deer disease or the zombie raccoons now. The zombie deer disease has infected the raccoon population in Ohio. Well, a small population. Apparently, it's only in Youngstown, Ohio. Um, but zombie deer disease. Okay. Uh, it was first observed in 1967 in Colorado. And then since it has infected wild herds in 24 states and Canada, South Korea, and Norway. Very select countries. I find that very strange. The symptoms, vacant stare, thick saliva, drooping heads, drastic weight loss, lack of coordination, lack of fear, of humans. It's a neurological disease, the zombie deer disease. The actual name is chronic wasting disease. So the brain wasting zombie deer disease could spread to humans. I love this term zombie. It is interesting how it seems to be perhaps, oh, perhaps it's the clickbait thing uh, that I am actually very impressed with this guy, JWTV. I have subscribed. I recommend that you do subscribe. But he got it. He got it right out of the gate. So remember we talked about the uh, zombie deer disease? I'm sorry, it's probably clickbait, but I mean, it's not my clickbait, it's their clickbait. Right, it's okay. Zombie raccoon now. now um, I will link below to everything if you want to watch his, his video on this. Um, I like his, whoa, well, he seems to be very firmly grounded in reality and quite rational. And I do believe the term zombie is used as clickbait, and so many people are posting on the zombie raccoons in Ohio. Um, and mainstream media, zombies, zombies. Wildlife officials explain why Ohio raccoons are acting like zombies. Are they really acting like zombies? Um, here, why don't we watch this video? Right here. Zombie-like raccoons spark concern in Ohio. Notice how healthy they look. Okay. Um, now, many of the raccoons that are in this video look incredibly healthy. This was the video that they show. Nothing abnormal about this raccoon. And many people are saying that because raccoons are nocturnal, they coming out during the day, something's wrong. Or they standing on their hind legs, something is wrong. Have you seen this video? Gets 
rock and knocks on my door. And it's scratched all the way across here. I can't even go. What are you doing? Are you the cutest thing in the world? What do you think of that rascal, huh? This is my little rascal. Where are you getting rascal? So, I will link below, and you can check it out. Yes, raccoons do come out during the day, and they absolutely stand on their hind legs. It's unfortunate that so many humans don't even know the behaviors of wildlife. So, they see a behavior that they have not seen before, and they immediately think something's wrong with that animal. It's diseased, or it has rabies. Now... If in Youngstown, Ohio, somebody saw a raccoon doing this, they would they would think, oh my God, this disease, uh, this raccoon absolutely has some kind of disease. It has rabies. It's got distemper. It's got the zombie raccoon disease. Um, I want you to listen to this. Listen to this guy. This is the photographer who caught really amazing shots of the raccoon that came onto his property and well in Ohio people there have been dealing with an unusual animal control problem but some are calling zombie like raccoons roaming the city we know more than a dozen of these raccoons have been captured and destroyed state wildlife officials believe they were likely suffering from Distemper, which Distemper. is a viral disease that can cause weird behavior, coughing and tremors and convulsions. They also cause animals to lose their fear of humans. Interesting story playing out. Bob Cogshall is my guest. He's a resident who came face to face with one of these raccoons and he's coming to us from Youngstown. Bob, good to have you on CTV. Thank you. It's great to be here. How close did you get to that raccoon? One foot, face to face. And what was it like? It well. It, it, I saw him in the daytime coming towards us with no fear. I knew something was wrong with him, and he was to be uh, st uh, st stayed clear of. Usually they you know, try to run away, or if they feel cornered, they can get a little defensive. But this one, uh, you could tell, was abnormal. Something was going on. Something was going wrong because I had my two dogs with me in my front yard, and he showed absolutely no fear at all. He just kept coming towards us. And what were some of the other characteristics of this raccoon, Bob? He would get up on his hind feet, sh show his teeth. He was drooling excessively, and then he'd fall over backwards and lay in a comatose stage for three or four minutes, regain his consciousness, and then repeat the same procedure time and time again. And then what did you do? Well, he uh, came after us, so I got my dogs inside the house, and he was right at our heels. And we have plate glass separating my dogs from the from the raccoon. I went outside by another door, tried to uh, get him away from the house. He followed me, and as he was following me, I was taking his picture. I got him down to the woods. I came back to the front of the house, and a few minutes later, he was back at my front door again. And he followed this procedure uh, for a couple of hours. So this guy didn't call animal control in Ohio. He goes back outside. He sees this kind of behavior in this raccoon. He wants to keep his dog safe, but apparently he doesn't care about his own safety. He goes back outside. He's snapping pictures. The raccoon is just following him. He gets the raccoon into the woods and then it comes back onto his property. And this goes on for hours. When you see this kind of behavior, in animals, one, I would think, would immediately call the animal control officer. If this guy is thinking that something's wrong with this raccoon, why would he want to just bring it right back into the woods? Why would he just be snapping pictures outside? And he says in this news clip that he was a foot away. And as you can see, he's got really close up pictures of this raccoon something to me is just a miss in what I'm hearing but I do want to point out that this whole thing this zombie the zombie raccoon outbreak in Ohio yeah the the use of that term 
is really, uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on. There could be an outbreak of distemper in the raccoons. And if there is, uh, one second, I have a neighbor calling me. So if there is an outbreak of distemper, then th that is easily controlled. I do find it interesting that I have just posted a video on um, the, here, Indiana. They wanted to kill raccoons, possums, coyotes. Indiana wants to make it mandatory that animal control officers in Indiana, right now they have the discretion whether to kill an animal if they think that it's diseased or catch and release. Indiana wants to make it mandatory that they kill all raccoons, possums, coyotes. Why? Well, essentially, it's an inconvenience to humans. Um, and Indiana borders Ohio. Borders Ohio. I, these articles are really quite amazing. Scientists worry brain-wasting zombie deer disease could spread to humans. So, have you seen any articles? Oh my God, this zombie raccoon outbreak, it could spread to humans. Get rid of them. Kill them all. But the use of this zombie term, I, I don't get it. Um, it could be anything. And I just want to point out that they can, they can get wildlife. They could target wildlife with frequencies. And, well, all of the testing has shown that they can make animals do things with frequencies, microwave frequencies. They can target these animals. All of these animals look incredibly healthy. So uh, they also, you know, that this neurological diseases that are increasing in wildlife, what is that about? Well, let's see. Uh, pesticide. Pesticides cause neurological dysfunction and disease. And a whole lot of pesticides are sprayed by residents in suburbs, farmers, and wildlife is eating. Their food supply has also been made toxic. And don't forget the dumping of aluminum nanoparticulates that are coming down all over. And these animals are eating aluminum nanoparticulates. So I think we will see an increase of neurological disorders in wildlife. I hate what we are doing. Human beings, man. Uh, we, wow, it's just a wow. So, reports of zombie raccoons scare homeowners. Puzzle police. Puzzle police. When we already have heard many newscasters who are claiming that it may very well just be um, distemper. Distemper. You don't see any of these raccoons looking unhealthy. I don't know what to make of this world anymore. Anyway, I just, I, I'm tired of looking at all of these videos, titles and articles. Oh, zombie, 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 zombie. You know, can we grow up here? 
the word zombie for some reason captures an awful lot of people's attention. All links are below.